Italy at last seems to be sweeping all before her. And though Emperor Haile Selassie doesn't as yet admit defeat, there seems little doubt that the Abyssinian armies are retreating on all fronts before the relentless Italian advance. The spearhead of their attack are the mechanized advance columns who push out over unknown country along roads that are little more than tracks. Already they've occupied Gondar, and now they're well on their way to the shores of Lake Tana. And while the flying columns push forward on land, the Air Force watches from overhead. Already Harar and Jijiga have been bombed out, and Addis Ababa has had its first taste of aerial attack. Italian army planes have flown over Diradawa on the Addis Ababa Djibouti Railway, and even official Abyssinian circles expect that the railway bridge at Hawash will soon be bombed and that will cut Addis Ababa's only means of communication with the outside world. The second stage in the advance lies with the light tanks, sweeping the hills and valleys with their machine guns, leaving not one Abyssinian sniper to hold up even for a moment the main army's advance. And as the country is cleared of the enemy, the lines of communication are pushed forward and a few more square miles are added to Italian territory. So Italy in the field marches on, while Italy at home rejoices in victory.